Uh, these two guys, guys and girls, uh, we discovered on Thursday, we sat down and, and kind of went over everything, what we're going to do, how's this going to work. And they both have a song, they have two songs, uh, they, eat, terrible, they each have a song with the same name that actually is about some of the same things. And it's weird because they didn't set it up that way. So... Well, and actually, it's, it's I think a little bit bigger than that. We have an illustration, I think, that's going up far too. But there, it, I mean, there are sort of eerie similarities. They're both called Red. So when we decided to do this, we were going to call it the Battle of the Reds. And we were going to cue Barry to put some red light, which we're still doing. Barry, put the red lights on. <laughs> and, we're, and we both have, um, we're both talking about color. And both of us picked red and blue, which I thought was kind of funny. Yeah. And this song, as my husband so delicately pointed out in the session, I have not played live in many, many years. <laughs> this was a song I wrote when I was maybe oh, 19. And I haven't played it in a while. And I think yours is the same, right? Is, am I mistaken by that? You're, you're red. My red? Yeah. Uh, Let's hear about that. About the song? Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a weird song. <laughs> it's just... It's just kind of weird. It's a story song. When did you write song. that? Uh, probably, probably a couple of years ago. Yeah. yeah. And it's just a, it was just a little, you know, little walk on the wild side for me. So. Yeah. So I don't know. How did that even come up? I can't even remember how that came up, honestly, like when we were talking about the Reds. And I, maybe you, did you throw it out there and say, well, I have this song, Red? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you said, I, I have a song, too, called Red. So that's how it started. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And they couldn't be more different, which I actually think is sort of awesome since they're both red and blue. They are sort of on totally opposite ends of the spectrum. And actually, I'm going to make him go first because I, I changed my mind. I'm not. I'm not. Ready. Oh, it's the artist. It's the artist in me. We have this to be very, ready. We have to ready ourselves. This is no. a very wordy song, so a very different song. Actually, I have some. I have my own visuals. Hold on. I wondered what those were doing yes. over there. Yes, yes. <laughs> the graphic illustrator, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you just couldn't help it, could you? <laughs> There's a lot of thought in the diameter and everything of those, so. Okay, red. It's, it's about the prodigal color. My microphone position correctly. <laughs> a long, long, long time ago, when the earth was a ball of dough and the colors were all still in heaven, one lazy afternoon, Red said to his friend Blue, I heard that Lucifer's moving, he's going out on his own. Blue, don't that sound like fun? Just between you and me. I'm going with him. <laughs> so off he ran just like that, waving and yelling back. My life of freedom is calling. And Blue being cool and such, he didn't say too much. But deep down inside he was thinking. Sometimes it's easy to see just why me and you are on each opposite side of the spectrum. <laughs> Red, ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Red, farewell, my dear brother, my beautiful, passionate friend. Oh, how I'll miss the rich purple whenever our laughter blends. So deep down in paradise, red walking close behind the devil and his decorator. Devil says I'm seeing draperies of anger and bouquets and sprays of bright fire. And let me see, yes I think, tell me if y'all agree, let's just make everything here red. So the faces of demons and the walls of his madness and the fire of his anger in one certain apple was red. Red, farewell, my dear brother, my beautiful pal. 
compassionate friend. Oh, how I'll miss the rich purple whenever our laughter blends. Blue saw him coming, and soon they were running a deep, long purple embrace. Red said, I'm sorry for my selfish folly, and of course, he was red in the face. And suddenly, thunder and lightning, they turned around, and there was God, and he said, just kidding. <laughs> Red, I could never stay angry, I made you the color you are. Come be the top of my rainbows, and every beating heart, and you'll be the color of love. The symbol of my sacrifice, they will know when it flows red. So that's where the story ends. Red and blue, best of friends, soulmates, compadres for life. Painting petunias and rainbows and berries. Red birds that swim in blue skies. That's the red bird flying right there. So cool. Sorry, I messed up in the middle of it. I you turn that red light back on right now, Barry. Sorry, I messed up. That was the first time I've sung it in public. So, two songs unsung before a lot for me in one concert. And so gracefully, too. Yes. Thank you. I want to know something else about that song. I want you to tell me something. I, mean, I don't have a specific question, but I feel like you, you did the dots. Like, you should keep going. No. With what? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just putting you on the spot. I'm just teasing you. Uh, Seriously, Barry, can I, can I have my red light? This is my shameless This is my body and something better for something else To move your hands Try to save this To make a play for my devotion Strange And save A little space for me Make a call for my devotion Scream Make a little grace for me Make a play for my demise Bartering something better for something else And I see through frames of focus And I am not alone So save a little space for me Make a call for my devotion Scream Make a little grace for me Make a play for my demise Cause I'm no Jezebel I'm no angel And I won't save ya Place my faith in love and a promise broken. This is my red, this is my shameless, this is my frameless affidavit made for someone else. And I see through frames of focus, and I am not alone. So save a little space for me, make a call for my devotion. Scream. Grace for me, make a play for my demise. How recent is that? Hmm? How recent is that? Um, I'm. I can't, I'm, I do art, I'm not really a math person. I'm 28 now. I was 19 when I wrote it. 
So, Ryan, how many years is that? <laughs> Just kidding. So nine years. Yeah. You don't, be, I don't think, you don't, this is new to me. Mm -hmm. And I, is it new to everybody? No, no. I, there, if you go on YouTube, I'm always surprised by the things that touch people and the things that people decide to record and share. And, and um, I've, I've played it live a handful of times in New York and... Sometimes I'll play it live on tour. The way I do my, my set lists is I usually play whatever I feel like playing, which makes my band a little bit crazy. Because <laughs> I'll just go, go! And there's just, I mean, the, you know, when you have to know 20 songs and I could just kind of randomly pick. So sometimes I do it live. Um, I have, um, you know, there's a few videos I have up, up, up about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, that was my red. So what is the, what is the inside? The inside scoop. Yeah. Um, I think it came from the, the idea of, have you ever heard when people say they see red? Right? When they're like, I'm seeing red. And I thought about that and I thought, well, that must mean, um, you know, when you're feeling serene and you're going back to your basics and that's blue. And I was just thinking conceptually about what it meant to, to be in those feelings and what happens when you commit to them instead of fighting them so hard. And, and that goes with the lessons that you learn and where you're at in life. And, you know, when you decide, okay, like, this is my red. You want to know what I look like mad? This is it. <laughs> like, if you want to know what I look like blue, this is it. Like, just committing to those and owning them instead of trying to, you know, and, and just, you know, it's an, another form of being honest, I guess, with yourself. And, Elliot, your song, Red, you start with uh, red being kind of this thing that is distant and... Uh, sort of shameful and then it gets kind of brought back in like what was your process well I mean I just think it's I think it's interesting that red represents the whole gamut of emotion uh, I mean not the whole gamut it, it represents passion and um, I, I don't know what that song means it's just uh, sometimes passions get out of hand and it's not you know the passionate ones uh, always make the obvious and loud mistakes but I mean, it's, it's a good thing we have them around, you know, so, uh, because they're at the top of our rainbows and the color of our hearts and stuff, so, I don't know, whatever that means, I mean, <laughs> um, can I'm too I grumpy also, to go to deeper I, than that. I don't know how it is for Elliot, and maybe Elliot can answer this question for me. I have a working theory, I, I, you know, part of the joy of doing what I do for a living is that I get to meet some incredibly extraordinary people, the people that I meet after shows, the people that I work with. And I get to meet a lot of artists who can be a little kooky. And um, one of the things that I've noticed about artists is that musicians specifically, they often use music as their medium of the day. But many musicians that I know actually use other mediums to make art. Um, I'm one of them. I'm a painter as well. I know you do graphic art. Mm. How has that been for you as an artist, like dipping in and out of mediums? Because I think that may be why some artists really go to colors and things because th it's another part of the way we process art outside of just the musical you know scope of art well, I don't know if I'm I actually I'm not very good with color um, I mean I always have to consult with my wife on what color works best with clothes and so I'm not I'm not really good with colors I'm I'm, I'm good with actually better with contrast blacks and whites and uh, design elements but, but but color is not one of my strong points so I don't know how that plays into what you asked me but it's but I, I, I love colors I love them a lot so I guess I'm just wrong <laughs> no I mean I, I, I do love colors and so uh, <laughs> next song just please me back for before <laughs> <laughs> well speaking of art uh, my the logo for the show it's this guy right here. I was gonna say, I think he did us a, a pretty good job. Pretty making good job art. of color as well. <laughs> I could have put more color in that, actually. <laughs>